Yo, what's going on fam? It's been a minute. In today's video, we've got creepy and bizarre TikToks that will make you question reality. So you like these succulent, delicious, moy bean ramen packs of noodles? Well, let me tell you what they might be doing to your body. Have you ever eaten Listen. ramen noodles? Exactly. Here's the deal. New research from the Mayo Clinic is showing that it can increase the risk for metabolic syndrome, especially for women. And that can mean increased risk for heart problems, stroke, and diabetes. Mm. But researchers say it's not just ramen. Any instant noodle products could be putting you in danger if you're eating them more than twice a week. So why are women affected the most? Probably because of BPA that's found in the packaging, which is known to mess with those estrogen levels. And a flashback for you tonight from our new cats back in 2012 and a look at what exactly happens once ramen noodles make it into your stomach and it's all thanks to a camera swallowed like a pill you can see the mm. stomach contracting back and forth trying to grind up those noodles striking thing about our experiment when you looked at a time interval one hour or two hours we noticed that processed ramen noodles were less broken down than homemade ramen noodles yeah, I'm cool off for ramen noodles unless I absolutely positively have to eat them. Yeah, I know how to struggle be. But if y'all do eat them, just know this is the consequences that come with them. Y'all, let me know y'all thoughts on what ramen noodles do to the body in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if y'all want that exclusive content and stay tapped in. I know y'all gonna still eat them ramen noodles, man. Don't lie. You know you're gonna go get the chicken flavored ones and you're gonna eat them, man. Even if you don't have to. What's crazy though about ramen noodles is we really thought we was gonna get a whole meal off of just 25 cents. And it'd be healthy for us? <sighs> Whoa. Someone else just broke into the Illuminati headquarters and this is what they found. This is where they meet Holy once, fuck. once a year. Dude, I'm actually, I'm actually here. This is insane. That owl statue is where they sacrifice. No kids. way. Bohemian Grove. I made it. What? How we get here? He won't be around much longer. This is fucking cool. Oh, that's hollow. They need to fill this pond up. They do. Yeah, that's the owl. Bunch of ferns have grown on it. Molly Cow God statue. This is what all the Illuminati members meet at the Illuminati. Insane. Yo, that's crazy. This is why exposing the truth is scary. People who expose the truth. The most amazing things that I have ever seen at the bottom of the ocean. It was while filming for Blue Planet through the Gulf of Mexico. I noticed there's something out in the distance. Couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut. It was black in the center. What the heck? As we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of water lapping against the shoreline. This band was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute, I'm already underwater. We went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend in it. It was so mm. super saline and Yo, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the Aquaman movie, right? Like, 
you have to have like oh certain clearance to be able to go through this water or you have to have like a certain type of ship to be able to go through this water to see what's on the other side it's probably like some type of shield or something like that like it's a whole nother world in there Nope, I will never get on a chopper. Never. Hey, what's up? This is White Rose Project back again with another one. Everything uh -oh. I say moving forward is allegedly and also for educational purposes only. Keep that in mind. What you see here are two men. On the right is Mount the King. On the left is J. Edgar Hoover. Martin the King, back in the day, we really thought he was a stand-up guy and we really loved listening to him because his speeches were so dynamic, they were so captivating. It would put you in a trance, his speech was so strong. But we found out later that he wasn't what we thought he was. He had a strange relationship with this guy on the left, Jagger Hoover. And from this letter, at the bottom of this letter that J. Edgar Hoover wrote, yeah, there was some strange things going on, King. This man ain't gonna write no letter like this about you if nothing wasn't going on. See, the CIA recorded a lot of his activities in his hotel room. And let me say, allegedly, they were not with women. Allegedly. The word is, the recordings that the CIA did were of men, sexual activity with men, mm. homosexual men, allegedly. Mm. P. Diddy 2.0. I got to say that to protect my video. I'm going to read part of this letter to you, but let me set the backdrop up of why this letter is so important. Jagger Hoover was known to be a flaming, cross-dressing, homosexual male. He had no qualms about it. He wasn't shame about it. But he mm. had a problem with Martin Luther King being one way in the daytime and another way at night. He actually said in a letter somewhere, I'm paraphrasing, Martin Luther King, if these people know who you really, would have, really, really are, they'll lynch you, allegedly. Educational purposes only. See, the first thing, let's get understood that his name wasn't Martin Luther King. Y'all do know that, right? His name was Michael, Michael King. Do your research and look that up. Hmm, did not know that. He fraud his way all the way through this whole thing, just like all the other stories of uh, Rosa Park, the story of uh, Rock Jack, uh, Jackie Robinson. It's all fraud, man. To sell books, to make the image look good, or make their images look good, and then do something else at night. And J. Edgar Hoover had a problem with that. Big problem. He had a problem with the hypocrisy of King. So it sounds like allegedly they might have been into some kind of relationship. Allegedly. Let's read some of the letter. I'm going to do the top of the letter and part of the paragraph. King, in view of your low-grade abnormal personal behavior, I would not dignify your name with either Mr. or Reverend or a doctor and your last name calls to mind only the type of king such as the eighth and his countless acts of adultery and uh, immoral conduct more than that of a beast mm. that's crazy he was mad at him king look into your heart you know you're a fraud and a great liability to all of us Negroes. 
people in the Wait a minute. Who wrote this letter? He said all of us Negroes. What's going on with the wordplay here? This country, white people in this country, they got enough fraud. Did you catch that part when he said all of us Negroes? Yeah, he looks like a white man, but he was a black man. See, back in the South, one drop of blood, they used to say, you a Negro. Just 1%, one drop of blood, you're considered a Negro. He had Negro in his family. He was. You got to go back. It's a story, whole story on that, too, as hmm. well, about J. Edgar. Okay. Edgar Hoover, him being black. But that's another, Answered another my question. story for another time. But King, Malcolm, I mean, Michael King, you won what the people wanted. They thought you were some, one way, but you was another way. And J, J. Edgar Hoover had a problem with your hypocrisy. He didn't like that. So in other words, it sounds like a quarrel between a relationship of some kind. Either come out, tell the people who you are, oh, we're going to break up. It's, it sounds like one of those things, allegedly. And down in the letter, he even suggests the only way Martin Luther King slash Michael King could get out of this is to commit S. Is to commit to unalive yourself. They had a problem with him trying to back out of the boule and back out the Illuminati. You can't do that. That was a part of his death, too. Mm. Everybody know about this phrase when he said, I feel like I feel like I've led my people into a burning house or a burning building. I'm paraphrasing. Okay, that sounds beautiful, but you got a tab to pay, and it's time to pay Satan. And he was trying to back out. Sound like just like the rest of them giving that last day sad speech, just like Eddie Long and T D Jakes. Mm -hmm. It's strange how these things that they set up it's almost the same characters but different actors playing the part this sounds like the same homosexual behavior with T.D. Jakes Eddie Long King just different actors in different dispensations of time mm -hmm. ain't that strange but you go check out the letter I did my best I hope you got something out of this. Stay woke. I mean, are you surprised? Mm. I mean, have you ever thought about why Mark Zuckerberg would need to build himself a $270 million survivalist compound in Hawaii? And for those of you who don't know, Zuckerberg's land grab in Hawaii was very controversial. Now, Mark says that it will be used for corporate getaways and kind of a leave the world behind type hideaway. I just don't believe it. I mean, why are all these billionaires investing in land or islands in remote locations? I mean, he's not the only one. Look at Elon mm -hmm. Musk and his proposal for a Mars colony to tech billionaires buying up luxurious bunkers and hiring military security. Now, this compound will have the ability to be self-sustaining as it'll produce its own energy and food supply. But what's interesting about the construction of this is that it's tucked behind a six-foot wall that's being monitored around the clock. I mean, he even had the workers sign NDAs, which is very rare for a construction project. And when I plugged mm. the name of his ranch into the Gementria calculator, it came up with this and this. I would love to hear what you guys think. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Like and follow for more. The humanoid looking mm -hmm. ones, maybe we call them reptilians, their hands were really thick digits, four fingers. There is another cast of reptilians that actually have more of a humanoid features 
So they don't have the long snout. They're not what you call your stereotypical reptilians, but they have some scales. They look almost like humanoid hybrid reptilian beings. Mm. Currently on Earth, there's still reptilian factions that have control of the Earth governments and the Earth religious sectors. These beings are maybe human in appearance, but some of them are full reptilians and some of them are reptilian hybrids. When I talk about full reptilians that appear humans, I'm talking about shape-shifting reptilians. So reptilians have the ability to shapeshift, to look like something that they're not. So they're masters of deception and they're masters of disguise. They do it energetically. It is actually kind of a physical energetic transformation where mm -hmm. they put on a shell that looks kind of a human shell, but they can't. Hey, I, <laughs> this is crazy. I remember the childhood book, Jungle Book or whatever. They made a movie of it or whatever, but uh, didn't the snake didn't it have like some type of powers like that with the eyes? Like it could like mess with your mind, put you in a trance or something like that, and then it would eat you. What ain't that kind of like what she explaining right now? Sustain it for very long, so they do it for short periods of time. The ability to change appearance or shape shift from reptilian to the human form is understood from a variety of perspectives. Whether it is mind control, thought projection, technologies, or frequencies, they're all possible explanations offered by various researchers to make sense of the phenomenon. They do not need to shape shift physically to look like a human, to impersonate a world leader or something like that. Their body does not morph. It looks the same as it always did. When they shape shift, what they're doing is using neural engagement capabilities to make the person that's in front of them see a different thing. So they can look to that person as a male, a female, a human, like normal. But the neural engagement is doing that. Their physical form is actually still the same. Okay, so what about when they're on TV or being recorded, you know? How are they then doing that electronically to the camera if they're not physically shape-shifting? I get what I'm saying? I have a theory that the Mandela effect is used to see how much of history can be altered in front of our eyes. Here's a prime example of one of that. There is this woman on TikTok who was going crazy because she swore the Fruit of the Loom had a cornucopia logo. And to the point that even Fruit of the Loom themselves put a timeline of all their logos and it never had a cornucopia. And this one. Hold on. On oh, she. Whoa. They definitely had a cornucopia. 100% remember that. Mandela effect in full effect went hard. A therapist told her, yo, you need to chill out. You need to just drop this. So she went through all of her old clothing and lo and behold, she found a shirt with the fruit of the loom with the cornucopia logo on it. That shows me like, yo, I'm, I think the Mandela effect is an operation that's running around right now yeah. to see how much of history can be altered right in front of our eyes without us noticing. And then they gaslight the public and be like, nope, this never happened. Damn, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, bro. People are thinking about it very little like oh it's the berenstein bears or the berenstein bears or jiffy or jiff's peanut butter no it's much larger than that guys they're using this to see oh if we can get people to forget certain primary things about their childhood what can we do with history yo that theory right there Hold up. this is the great mud flood of 1892 dude should be buildings out in New York mm. 1892 yo so what if they like flooded everybody out right and then you know trapped them to be in certain areas and then didn't let them get the land back to kind of like reclaim the land as their own hmm
building and now on horse buggy Shh, the timelines that they give us don't add Santa up Barbara y'all. county home to one of the longest running cloud seeding operations in the country we've got some ground-based cloud seeding equipment right here and we're going to get to hear all about how it works and see it in action let's check it out Man, I got a theory that almost all clouds are cloud seeded. They just be putting stuff in the air. That's my theory. Cloud seeding is the most common type of weather modification, and it has many different techniques and applications. Today, it's mostly used to increase rain and snowfall, reduce the size of hail, and reduce fog at airports. Traditionally, cloud seeding has been done from the air. So air, airplanes have had racks on them where these same flares are positioned on the airplane and the airplane flies into the storm. So in order to reduce the cost of the client and reduce our carbon footprint, uh, we've been able to station these on the ground. Now we can do this in places where weather permits. Behind a barbed wire fence designed to keep away curious cattle, the cloud seeding gear awaits the right kind of weather. So these are referred to as AHOGs. That stands for Automated High Output Ground Seeding Systems. We've got three primary components of our the conditions in real arc arresters, so they prevent spark. So the white triangle, so the control bars from that. It's a light, a flare for us anyway, so we can show you how it works. There's just one small problem. The battery. The primary seeding agent in this is silver iodide. Silver iodide is a simple compound. It's polar in nature like water. So there's chemical properties that help attract water molecules to silver iodide. It's also structured molecularly similar to ice. So it helps generate or helps spawn the generation of ice buildup. And then that becomes a hellstone or a snowflake that falls here primarily as rain. So one flare like this has billions and billions of potential sites for that water to congregate around. We'll launch them in sequences. We watch the radar to see when bands of the highest concentration of liquid water are passing above us in the clouds. And we try to target those high concentration pockets in the storm systems. Uh, we'll launch between three and 20 flares for a typical storm. Once the flare is lit, it takes a little bit of time to carry up into the clouds. And once it's up at, at the proper elevation, it'll take about 20 minutes to instigate the rain or the snow process. Dang, that's crazy. Um, so 20 overall, minutes, yeah. Looking at about 40 to 45 minutes before you're seeing the maximum result. And that's why we're stationed miles away from our target area. So We have very specific targets that, that drain directly into major water basins, and we time these events to correlate with rain above those intended targets. One of the biggest questions or most common questions that we receive uh, relates to the safety of silver iodide. Silver is... It's like when people say Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Say their names. Right. <laughs> 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 Say the name. Speak. It was one time. It was one time where Esso was on here, and he said, "Yo, it's these many families." I, I wanted to jump into the screen and be like, "No, Esso, it's a lot of families." I grew up in Delaware. The Duponts run Wilmington. Mm -hmm. That's not we, Dupont Hospital. Is it? We know the name. Mm -hmm. Say the name. Because what it does when you when you when you say these things, it makes a boogeyman for our children. Right. They can't fight. The, the Illuminati. Or the imaginary they, days. It's, it's, no, no, but you, you, you allow them. Mm. 
That is true, y'all. So, apparently, it's a bunch of people that didn't know that it was illegal to talk to dolphins. Let's go and dive in this hole for rabbits. See, now, it is against the law to interact with dolphins unless you are in an aquarium, zoo, theme park, etc. The reason for this is to not protect the dolphins, but to stop humans from developing a connection with mammals that are actually smarter than us. Dolphins have a cerebral cortex that is 40% larger than humans. Then they go along to say that they have knowledge about ancient civilizations like Atlantis and Lemuria. And that left me curious on how can we communicate with a dolphin? In every I swear. image that I have seen a dolphin communicate, they use their foreheads. Yeah, like their third eye. And the form of communication that they're using is called ultrasound. Guess who else uses ultrasound to communicate? Isn't that how babies communicate through ultrasound? And then look at this, can dolphins stimulate brain growth in babies? And see, the scientists at Peru say the squeals and squeaks in dolphins may stimulate the brain in the unborn child. And one aquarium let their babies line up to communicate with dolphins. Because it stimulates the brain growth in babies. Now y'all are kind of mm. getting the gist on why they don't want us to communicate with dolphins. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it being illegal to communicate with dolphins in the comments. Like, follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if y'all want their exclusive content. Stay tapped in. And by the way, TikTok entertainment purposes only. I'm about to go find me some dolphins. And I'm finna try to communicate to some. Yo, I need to figure out the secrets to Atlantis and everything that's under the ocean. That's crazy. It's really a law. Like, it's illegal to communicate with dolphins. I gotta look that up. Roof dimensions are meshing together. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both presidents were shot in the head. Now it gets really weird. Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. Both were assassinated by Southerners. Both were succeeded by Southerners named Johnson. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. John Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Oswald, who assassinated Kennedy, was born in 1939. Now hang on to your seat. Lincoln was shot at the theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car called Lincoln made by Ford. Lincoln was shot in a theater and his assassin ran and hid in a warehouse. Kennedy was shot from a warehouse and his assassin ran and hid in a theater. Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials. And here's the kicker. A week before Lincoln was shot, he was in Monroe, Maryland. A week before Kennedy was shot, he was with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> what? Yo, what's going on with the universe, man? Everything's meshed together. The whole Lincoln and Kennedy thing is really going to mess with your mind, in all honesty. That was just wild. But yeah, guys, these are some of the most creepy and bizarre Tic Tacs that are out there. Don't forget to click the link down below to get your 10% off dad gang hats. Shout out to all the dads out there. And yeah, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. And until next time, YouTube, peace.